Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about how I make simple thumbnails for my streams as well as my YouTube videos using Affinity Photo. If you watch my stream, I talk about Affinity Photo because I really like the program and I also like the fact that it's a one-time fee. Normally, Affinity Photo runs $54.99 US dollars. Um, over the Black Friday weekend, you were able to get it. I think I got it for $37.99. I already have it on my PC, but I wanted it on Mac, so I got Affinity Photo and Designer. And I'm probably going to pick up Publisher today, too, because they're all great programs. It's, you know, I know Photoshop is like the industry standard. But I really don't want to spend $500 a year for Photoshop to do the things that I do. Um, I'm no longer shooting weddings. I'm no longer doing the stuff where I used to have thousands of pictures that I would work on inside of Photoshop for clients. So I flipped to Affinity Photo. Once I found it, I realized for my photo editing that I do, my things like these thumbnails for YouTube, everything else. This little program is awesome. Now, yeah, you could go with GIMP or something like that. They do a pretty good job. I just prefer Affinity Photo. So let me show you what I do, and it takes me like two minutes to make a thumbnail for any of my YouTube videos or live streams. Now, the one bit of prep that I'm not going to show I will have multiple games that I play during the week and multiple things that I do. So I create a generic project inside of Affinity and I will have a bunch of images that I've either screenshotted, downloaded or whatever for each thing that I do or I'll have a composite and I'll use each of those to be able to create different thumbnails. But let's go ahead and take a look at Affinity Photo. So here's Affinity Photo. I did a Tomb Raider stream today for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We decided to do a playthrough on that. And if you look over here, um, I've got what? Tomb Raider 2013, Control, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I have a group here that I use for my D&D videos where I created a black rectangle. I put the red D&D logo on there. Um, so it gives me a background. Um, I have a Tailspire where I did a screenshot from that. Rise of the Tomb Raider, Back for Blood, Valhalla. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at these. So let's say we were running Days Gone. All of these I put behind my text. So I go ahead and I drag and drop whatever image I'm going to want to use for my thumbnail. And I have text which I set up using the effects. I set up an outline, um, which you can see there, that's what the outline did to it. My outline's at 10.8 pics. I just did it until I liked the thickness of the outline. Um, I did the 3D effect with five pixels. And if we take the 3D effect off, it makes it very flat. I like the 3D effect on there. I added a color gradient white at 36 percent and if you look at this uh i mean a color overlay if you look at that it basically just gives you a little bit of highlight on there makes it stand out a little more and that's it that's my basic text that i put in there to create a title and what i'll do i'll get up in the morning i'll say all right what are we going to play today i never know what i'm going to play Today, let's say it would be Days Gone, I'd come up with a title. You have, you've put in, using this artistic text tool, you've set it all up. I'll just highlight that title and type in whatever it's going to be. And that's what I'm going to name my stream. That's the name of the thumbnail. You can put it anywhere on there if you want. I end up putting it down here. Um, let's say I got up and decided to have Valhalla instead. I just have to make that what's visible in the background. If I play Black for Bl Back for Blood, there it is. It's ready to go. I type in the text. So 
all of these, and usually my video on demand are going to be like D&D or a bad parenting thing. I, I still need to make a card for that because I haven't done that yet, and I will. But in the long run, I can set these things up really quick, and as I change games on the fly, I can go in and whatever game I'm playing, have an image and set it up for the day. I mean, basically, that's what I do to set up thumbnails. I can go in. My, the longest part of the process is me saying, what am I going to play today? And what do I want to title the stream? Once I have a title, I start going into YouTube Studio. I type that title in, go into here. If I have a little bit longer title than I want on here, I'll abbreviate it here. I'll set up the title on Affinity Photo. I export it, and I'll even show you what we do here. So there you see the export. I have a folder on my drive with stream cards for D&D, &D, Days Gone, and this is all for stream cards. And the reason I don't, to be honest, the reason I haven't, don't have a card in here is a lot of times I'll set up a title inside of whatever editing program I'm doing, and that's where my title will be. Up until now, I was using Filmora 10 or X, um, and I had an animated thing that I would have it roll across the screen and the text would roll across. I don't know if I'm gonna do that anymore. I think I'm just gonna set up a solid card like I use for my streams and have that ready to go. I'll ha That will all be set up in my video on demand folder because I keep everything segregated, but Affinity does what I need it to do. And if, if we're being honest, Affinity Photo is an awesome program. Again, for the cost, $54.99, you can go in and do a lot of professional video editing. I've messed with 360 videos in it. I've not videos, photos. I've messed with my stream stuff here. I've also done photo editing in it. That's a whole nother video, so I'm not even going to do it. Now let's talk about one other thing that you can do inside of Affinity Photo. I'm not going to show you how to do it, but Affinity does have the ability. Let's say behind me, if I wanted to put up a green screen and take a picture, so you have your head in the thing, and this would just be another layer. You take a green screen picture. It has awesome capacity for removing green screens from your images. So you could superimpose your picture somewhere on your card after you've removed the background and have a transparent background and just your head, shoulders, whatever you're going to do, standing up going crazy. Um, you can superimpose that and also add that as another layer. I've done that before and I've actually have a static... Um, image that I use that I basically go in and just change the title once in a while. And I have a generic one that just says dad's doing stuff that I made using this software um, so that it all looks the same, kind of like a Harris Heller thumbnail. But um, in all honesty, for the cost, for the usability, I would definitely recommend picking up Affinity Photo. Get yourself, if you're a variety streamer like I am, Get a whole bunch of pictures in there so that as you change, you just go in, click, have those sitting behind your text, create that thumbnail, and you're ready to go in a minute or two. Longer if you're me thinking about your title and everything else. I waste a half hour some days trying to decide what I'm going to do. But it's super quick, super easy, and definitely much better priced at $54.99, or if you can still get it today, um, on Cyber Monday for the $37.99, it is definitely worth it. So, and that's a hell of a lot better than paying 500 bucks a year. So pick up something like Affinity. If you want to go uh, free, you can pick up GIMP. I just don't feel it's as good as Affinity. But whatever your preference is, get yourself set up, set up your layers, your text, everything, and do it quickly. So... That's about it. Everybody have an awesome day, and we'll catch you next time.